feels good. Oh, this one feels real good. Right. This one feels nice. Oh, this is a proper trout. What's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is a cold cold january day we had a big storm come through here we had a lot of snowfall in east tennessee it's kind of rare for this area so it's been a kind of nightmare for me uh, i had one of my hot water pipes freeze up uh, i finally thawed out thankfully no leaks um and it's just ice everywhere so my wife fell uh i slipped my son's fallen <laughs> so it's just been treacherous and i've been stuck at home like i'm assuming many of you have been as well watching fishing videos and just getting hyped up and ready to go fish so it's friday the snow's melted plenty it's 33 degrees the sun is out so i'm gonna go try to find some fish and in this video i'm gonna sprinkle in a few other fishing uh trips that i've done in december uh, where I've caught some white bass, yellow bass, and some perch. So this video is just going to have a mix of areas uh, that I've fished in December and, and today, actually, in January. So, uh, all right, enjoy. Hope you guys are having a good winter storm session, staying warm and with not that many frozen pipes. All right, so this is the North Chickamauga Creek. This is one of the creeks that gets stock. Uh, some stock trouts during the winter time. There's two spots. There was back there, but I see a car over here. And then there's another spot coming up here that has another access point, which I guess I'll come up to. Although there's a lady biking, so maybe that's her car with the bike. I'm gonna loop back around. So these are my new waders. They're from Magellan. You got a pocket up front here. They're pretty, they're, I mean, they're, they're fine. <laughs> you know? uh, I was going to get the stocking one, but then I'd have to buy new wading boots. And it, it's a cost for something that I'm not sure I'm in love with yet. You know. I want to buy a kayak as well. I'm going to get a cheap kayak because, you know, I don't know if I'm in love with it yet. We'll see if I enjoy waiting on this level in cold water. But these are fun. They fit good. They're tight. They're like a wetsuit, sort of. It costs about a hundred bucks. They serve a purpose. Just make sure there's nothing in my pockets that I want. <laughs> All right, so I think I want to tighten these a little bit.
Oops, I want to get stuck. That bird. Oh, let's see here. Got some live shiners today. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Get over here. All right. And <laughs> I got a. <clears throat> Gonna put this on the hook that I already got here. I'm not thinking too much around this setup. It's got a bobber. And let's see what's out there. Just wanted to have a little fun after work today. See if there's any multi species out here. Let's get this guy out there. And let's see how it does. Oh, there it goes. Bobber's gone already. I got one. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's got a little fight on it. What do we got here? Hoping for some crappie. And I think it might be... I oh, know, we got us a white bass. There we go. It's a nice size. I'll take it. Sorry, I got my jacket on. It's cold, so... Pretty fish. Huh, a little bigger I'd keep you. But send you on your way. Get on out of here. Alright, I really just had a drop shot set up already. I didn't want to remove the hook. <laughs> so I put a drop shot right back in there. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can keep my shiner and catch a second fish with it. See right back where it was.
go. Got him. Let's see what we got here. Spider. Another one of these bass. Pretty. Just a little bit bigger would be great. I'd keep a few of these. Definitely. These are good eating. But this one's a little too small. I notice it's hard to manage two rods. So you kind of got to be there when it strikes. So. Let's see, let's get another shiner on here. Whoever. There we go. Sorry, you're the lucky one I may have gotten robbed here. No, I didn't. They just didn't want the fish again. All right, let's try to get him back out there. Same spot. Let's see if I can get it right there. Ooh, a little different spot, but nonetheless.
Here we go. Oh. You kind of got to be on them. My hands were getting cold. <laughs> Well, still got the fish, so let's get it right back out there. We're not getting, not getting robbed here, so that's good. I don't know if I like what's going on out there with the bobber and the fish. They might be tangled. There we go, fish on. Oh, this one's a little stronger, is it? Yeah, feels like it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. This one's fighting a little better. Oh, come on. Have we got us a cropper? No. Alright. So we've gotten us another bass. They're all about the same size. This one's a little bigger. Oh, it's just not big enough to keep. A little bigger. I would keep them. Surely I would. They are a tasty fish. I think this rod has lost its Let's go bring it in. Oh, maybe not. It's not in the right spot. Let's see. Here. Ah, that's my secondary rod in case something happens I'm just gonna fish this one only because the actions a little more action on this smaller rod it's a little bit more fun I don't know. All right. sorry buddies someone's got to be the victim right I'm sorry sorry it's you by the way is this the only kind of way I know how to do it uh, if you guys have another way let me know Try to put it back in that same spot I just got it taken. It's a large shiner of the ones that are in there. So maybe it attracts bigger bait, bigger fish. It's usually my theory. Change the height, got the fish. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, something different. Yes, a perch. Ooh, nice size perch too. Okay, now we're talking. That's the height where perch are at. Little bigger on this one as well and then i'll keep them i think my bobber just went down on that side yeah don't see the bobber 
So let's let him go. <clears throat> I think this bobber's gone. Where is this bobber? Yeah, there we go. Fish on. Second rod. Oh, a little stronger. A little stronger. There we go. Bigger bait, bigger fish. This was the bigger bait. All right. Oh, another perch, right? Yeah, second perch. Ooh, a little better. Oh, that's a nice perch. Did the perch show up? Uh, all right, let's see. We'll keep a few of these. I think that's enough. I'm not sure. All right, I caught another bass. I didn't record the hit. It's another one. So pretty. These are cool fish. Oh, this one feels good. Uh, nah. That's fighting. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh, putting up a good fight. Hey, a little bigger. A little bigger. Not big enough. For real, this is a pretty fish, but I need it to be about that big for a take home. You know, winter can be kind of difficult around me because uh, I don't always have time to get out to the mountain area and go trout fishing or something like that. I don't yet have a kayak. Which I will. It's my goal for 2024 is to get a kayak and learn how to do some river kayak fishing. It's not easy. A lot about river kayaking that I don't know. So, for me to catch fish in the winter, certain areas that I am limited to, and then time frames, of course. So it's fun to just be able to get out here and fish a little and catch them. Oh, I didn't record the catch. I actually didn't know I was getting hit. I uh, got a little perch. Very, very tiny. Very tiny. Ow! You got spikes on the side of them, but there, there it is. There we go. Got him. Fish on. Get a little bit of jigging. Feels a little better. All right. That is a little better. Nice perch. A little better. Uh, I am killing these little perch, but not the bigger ones. This guy inhaled them. <laughs> Look at that. Because you've really swallowed this guy. Ah, uh, 
poor fish. I don't know what to do. It's too small for me to keep. I guess I can use them for bait. Sorry, buddy. Well, I tried a few spots, no success. I decided to come out here to this stock trout pond and I got some of this. I got some power bait, so we're gonna see if we can catch some winter winter stock trout. See if they're biting. It's a pretty lake, pond, whatever. So we'll see what's up. All right, take a little tiny ball. Why are you about that big? No, these are not big trout here. Make a little ball. slide that right over the hook and now I do the final shaping around the hook there we go all right so let's send this out there out there not too far shallow fish I right, got Rod number two set up here. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this one kind of close. About there. Real close. I don't have a lot of line on this one. Also just four pound test line. So real light. And we set it right there. Alright, looks like we got a bite on this one. Let's see here, just tighten this up. Yeah, there's definitely something on it. Just gonna nice and easy bring it in. Yep, something on there. I got the treble hook, no need to go ape crap on it. I was gonna say the other part. Alright, we got a little trout here. 15 minutes from my house, I'm catching trout. Now you're supposed to keep these because they'll die here. Uh, this one's kind of small, so I don't know. Let's see when I get it out. There we go. Nice stock trout. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll keep that. Oh, it is real cold here today. <laughs> I get why people don't like winter fishing. It's because, uh, you know, usually there's not a lot of people around, so that's kind of nice, but that's, you gotta fight the elements. I don't know, I thought I was getting a little hit on this one, but maybe not. There we go, we got him. He's on there. He's striking it at least. We got him. Yeah, we got him. All right, another trout. This one feels good. Okay. All right, there we go. 
about the same size as the other one. Small little stalker trout, but still good eating. Trouble. And I want to get this on fast because my hands are freezing. <laughs> This one feels good. Oh, this one feels real good. All right. This one feels nice. Oh, this is a proper trout. Okay. It's got a little meat on them. Let's see if I can just bring them on out. There we go. Oh, that's a bigger one. Oof. Pretty fish. Oh, look at that trout. Alright, nice. Alright guys, look at that one. It's a nice trout. All right, woo, woo, I'm freezing. Even though it's not as cold now as it was earlier, it's it's 47 now, but it's so cold. The wind chill is like pretty rough. Well, uh, I ended up with three. My GoPro battery died, um, so that was still fun. All right, <laughs> I know I don't like to catch stock trout out of a pond that much either, but. When there's nothing else to do and the winter cold weathers come in and you don't want to drive too far because places and roads are icy or snowed in then uh you know this is a good option so look around the tva if you're in tennessee the tva has a bunch of uh you know trout stocking spots so look around your area and see where you have a lake or something like that nearby where you can go uh, all right Catch you guys on the next one.